Okay, so a student sent me some work and they would like to put it on 2D Design, but there's a problem when they were trying to do it. And I'll show you what the problem is. So when I go to import the file, and if I go to my desktop and look at the work, I get the error of out of memory. And you hear that ding. So the out of memory is saying that something is wrong. And I don't fully understand what's going wrong and what's wrong, but I think it's to do with the file size. Not the physical file size, but what's actually incorporated into the file. And if we have a look at the file itself, you can see that it's a wonderful drawing. This is drawn in A3 and scanned in. But then she told me she edited some of the features of it in Photoshop. And I don't know what she actually edited. So that's caused some problems. So when I try and put it into 2D Design, it doesn't know what to do with it. I've tried converting it to PNG and that made no difference. So I'm gonna try and convert it to a different format. Because what she wants to do is vectorize the image. So I looked around online and I found this website. And what I can do on here is I can upload the file and I can choose the format I want to export it in. Now, if you're working with vectorization, especially in 2D design, a great format is DXF. And if you go down to the CAD concept, there's the DXF file format there. I can convert this to a DXF file and it will download. And that should now download onto my computer once it's been converted. And here you go, I get the option to download it now. And it comes up and you can see there it's coming out as a drawing format. And it looks, it's got that symbol there because I use SolidWorks on the computer. So now I need to import that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that onto my desktop and then I'm gonna import it from my desktop. So if I try and go and import it now, I, I can see the scan file there in the DXF format and I can open that. And it asks me how I want it sorted out. Everything we do is in millimeters. And I press OK. And this is going to take a little while, but it will hopefully work. I'm going to keep waiting. If you get things like top of the screen where it says not responding when this happens, don't panic. It's just a program trying to work out what's going on. And here we go. And this looks nothing like the work I was looking at. But if I now zoom out to all, you can see that everything's there and it starts to redraw from the top down. It's redrawing the whole image. It's trying to process everything at once. So we need to get this down to the right size. And I've also found a trick to, make, to help it stop doing that as much. So the first thing we need to do is we need to try and get it down to size. So I'm gonna hold shift before I adjust the size of it to keep the aspect ratio. Click. Move down, I'm going to hover just inside that A3 sheet I can. And you can see the size of this work. If that's an A3 sheet back there, this is a monstrously sized bit of work. And that was the problem. She adjusted the size of the work and made it absolutely huge in Photoshop. I don't know how she's done that. But it means there's a lot of detail here, and that's what's causing the problem. So much detail, the computer's struggling to process it. And I think that's why you get the out of memory error because the file is physically too big in pixels for 2D design to cope with it. Once you convert it to a DXS format and it's a vectorized images, it seems to work okay, although not quickly. And I'll repeat that process holding shift again to adjust the size of it to keep the ratio. And now we're down when this loads to an A3 sheet. And it's still, as you can see there in the distance, redrawing everything. let that redraw itself and it's going to do this again in a second because I'm going to zoom back in to see the whole sheet every time you make an adjustment at the moment it's going to redraw the whole image and that's going to get very frustrating very quickly so the, I'll show you the first thing I'm going to do to alleviate that issue and if I just uh, zoom to media again you can see it redrawing now Everything is still selected, but this is all still one group. So we need to, next step, ungroup this and possibly even explode it depending on how many parts are grouped together and how many parts are joined. I'm gonna avoid exploding it, just in case she needs to do anything specifically with it. But once it's finished, there we go, and I can ungroup it, 
and let's see what difference that makes. So now I've clicked off and it's redrawing itself. I'm just waiting for it to redraw. And there we go. That's now redrawn itself. And if I now click on a part of it, I can see I'm only selecting a part of it, which makes life a lot easier, and it's not trying to redraw everything that I'm selecting. Uh, this student wanted this work to be laser cut out, so to be used as part of a stencil. So, as you can see now, I recorded the last little bit of the laser cutting, and this is what the final piece looked like after the laser cut. She wants to do some more work with it and do a couple more attempts to modify some bits but it's a great first attempt and it's a wonderful drawing it shows how you can incorporate those wonderful drawing skills into some CAD CAM skills to make some beautiful work okay guys good luck